at Mayville, New York. Mount Carmel Social Club. They meet at St. Rose Hall over there, and uh, you, you know the Mrs. Tampio, who's the president, and she is going to tell you about the wonderful things they're doing. For instance, on March 17th, it's St. Joseph's Day My gathering. St. Joseph's Day gathering on <laughs> March 17th. I didn't believe out I read. I think they're, they're having a party for me. <laughs> St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day. Day. Please, he, you know, we've got to give it to a hand to St. Patrick. He got rid of all the snakes in Ireland. They don't have snakes anymore. What a lucky stroke. I wish he'd come around uh, some, down west. <laughs> they need him out there. <laughs> See, they're everywhere. Uh, Sharon Happy Seniors. Uh, hello, Thelma Warner. And Ellen Sudall is the president over there. Next meeting coming up, uh, there'll be line dancers from Verdonia entertaining March 5th. Um, Silver Creek Seniors, a bunch of wonderful people. They have a lovely uh, clubhouse down on Route 5, and Route, Route 5 hits Route 20. And the president over there is now Ed Newman, and he opened the meeting with uh, all the things they do. All seniors have the pledge, and they, they sing God Bless America or something wonderful, the national anthem. And they usually bow their head for somebody who may have moved on. <laughs> God, I hope not, but it, it does happen. All right, another thing. Oh, I should mention the fact that... Uh, uh, yeah, they didn't say, okay. 50 plus seniors meet in Collins, and I'm not gonna go through much of their stuff because they don't get this television broadcast, unfortunately. <clears throat> but uh, they have incredible stuff going on over there. All right, enough said, they're telling me that I'm finished with the news. There is no more news time. So I'm gonna just take these papers, and if you have a news item you want on this show, there's nothing to it, just call it in to our uh, phone number, which is 753-JACK, uh, uh, and uh, we'll, brought, we'll, we'll record it. And if you need it on the crawl space, which we run all day, well, we actually run not a crawl. We go all the way, full page ads for you. Call them in, and this service is free. It's for our citizens, and that's what Channel 5 is all about. It's your magic carpet right into the universe. Gonna take a quick break. I have a public service announcement for you, and we will have the geezer on who will carry on. Here you go. This is for you, friends. <clears throat> I think we're going to have a public announcement. <laughs> The geezer's on. Good morning, Mort. You're on. Good morning, Reed. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm off. <laughs> he shoots from the hip. Off my mind. Good morning, Dr. Spanos. It is so nice to see someone who is running a department of a state of a county office who knows what the heck they're doing. Well, thank you. So no, thank you. You don't have an office, do you? Yes, we do. I thank you very sincerely. You're welcome. You didn't mention that terrible fire that was wiped out. Oh, that was, that was Jamestown. Who cares what happens in Jamestown? <laughs> no, it was in no, Dunkirk. Oh, was it Dunkirk? <laughs> yes, yeah, the Masonic. Oh, well, we do care what happens. The Masonic Dunkirk. building borders the county office buildings, and they were damaged by the fire as well. So, In, in any event, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, there is something I would like to discuss with you. The president has been talking about revising and improving our health care system. Well, I will tell you one very needed service that he will not include in the system. And it also relates to Dr. Spanos, by the way. About one out of every two people my age suffers from a problem called dementia. They've lost serious memory, a serious amount of their memory, and uh, they have other problems which develop along with it. Uh, the incidence of dementia starts to expand at about 65 years of age. By about 70 years of age, I guess it's borderline explosive. The most common symptom of dementia is memory loss. And uh, people expect older people to lose their memory, and as you younger folks expect us older ones to lose our memory. But you don't recognize that 
it is not just memory, there's a certain amount of rationality in what we say that disappears. There is no health care program I can think of that assists you. If you develop dementia, you will arrive at a point where you can no longer be cared for at home. And you need to be in what we call an assisted living facility. There are about five or six of them of fair size in this county. But they cost about 150 to 200 and some odd dollars per day. And to the best of my knowledge, there is no insurance company that will cover it. Although, um, I really don't know if this long-term care insurance covers it. Perhaps Dr. Spanos would know. And uh, if she does, she'll talk about it with you, I'm sure. But in any event, it is a serious omission of our health care system. You know, we're supposed to care about our older folks. When I was a younger man, I certainly cared for mine and helped whenever I could. But your children cannot afford to help you in most cases when it's going to cost 200 bucks a day. So start dumping your assets somewhere, give them to your children, because the government's going to take them from you. If you still have money, you will have to pay for your long-term care for five years. There's a five-year look-back period in the system in which they provide absolutely no coverage. Now, I can't give you a, a full lecture on the subject. It would take forever. But start studying it. Start learning about it. Start preparing for the many problems that come with growing older. Thank you, Reed. Thank you, Mort. Seven out of ten senior families require long-term care, ultimately. One or the other of the of the family goes. Which bankrupts you? You're gone. You're gone. At a hundred thousand a clip uh, every year, you're gone, and uh, you 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 will be financially bankrupt. So more advice is pretty good. When you're younger, just give. Uh, when you hit your sixties or whatever, just give your money to your kids, because otherwise you're going to give it to the government, who's going to uh, something it away on wars and uh, huge bailouts for the rich and powerful. Um, the wars, which you don't hear about anymore, uh, the, the uh, large. Since the uh, large corporations have taken over just about everything, including the, uh, the media, you don't hear very much about these wars. They've kind of disappeared, but they're siphoning off trillions of dollars every year, which we need for our desperate needs in this country, such as education, which is now being cut by the Fed, being cut by the state, which means that your local taxes will go up. I read in the paper yesterday that Brockton expected almost a 40% increase in their school taxes, which it could be. But you know darn well, since school, uh, we are the highest tax county in the United States right now. That is fact, friends. And if they're going to jump your school taxes, which is about half your tax, uh, another 20% uh, percent or whatever, we're, we're dead in the water. Another 40%. We're dead in the water. I hope you don't live in the county. <laughs> of course I live in Mary the Ann county. Marianne Spanos. Dr. Marianne Spanos has been the director of our Office of the Aging here in uh, Chautauqua County for a number of years. Highly experienced. She has a doctorate in physical therapy, and she knows what she's doing, and she doesn't need it because she's got a broken leg. I do not have a broken okay, leg. Okay, what happened to your leg? You want to I was skiing, and I took a tumble and uh, tore my ligament in my knee. So I've had surgery. It's repaired, but I'm still hobbling around on crutches and uh, a brace uh, just to protect the knee really while it's healing because uh, they transplanted a tendon to make me a new ligament. So the wonders of medicine in uh, the year 2010, probably 20 years ago I wouldn't have such a nice outcome of my uh, injury but uh, medicine has really advanced. Yeah, and you'd, you'd, be, uh, you'd be limping around forever. Hobbling, probably, yeah, they probably. Didn't, didn't give you a new tendon. Probably. I wanted to speak a little bit to what uh, Mort says before we move on to other stuff. He was talking about dementia, and it is a real problem that people need to prepare for, not only financially, but also about their health care wishes. You know, it's very difficult if you develop dementia and your spouse passes away. Uh, under the law, really none of your children are allowed to make your decisions for you unless you've designated 
someone to make your decisions. And it doesn't have to be a child. It, 